What's up everybody, this is your boy Sean. When I did the trimmer unboxing, um, a few people that kind of asked me what does my grooming routine kind of entail. And I figured the best way to do that is to just kind of go through, um, you know, my daily routine, um, you know, for what I use for skincare, uh, hair care, and then kind of the things that I travel with. So usually my grooming regimen is pretty simple. Um, I cycle in a couple of different products here and there. Um, usually I'm pretty interested to try out new different things different brands. Um, I've tried things from Harry's, Dove, uh, Frederick Benjamin, Bevel. Usually as far as like face skincare is concerned, um, I'm usually using Bevel face wash. I've tried a couple different face washes throughout the year. Some of them have been pretty good. I've tried stuff by Clinique that is pretty good, but it's a little bit on the expensive side. I've tried bar soaps. Um, I've heard a lot of back and forth about bar soaps. Um, for some people it works. For me, it just makes my skin a little bit too dry. Um, so I've stuck with something that's more liquid based. And then uh, to follow that up, usually as a face moisturizer, I do kind of a two combo thing as of right now. The first thing that I put on is usually um, Bevel's Restoring Balm. It does a really good job of kind of keeping my ingrown hairs at bay, toning the skin a little bit. It's got witch hazel and shea butter in it. Uh, Trinity Hills Face Oil. Um, so this is something that, um, and, and it seems like it's a pretty young brand, but their stuff is really good. Um, I've used their bar soaps before. The face oil does a really good job um, of keeping my face moisturized. So I, I have combination skin. My forehead and my nose is really oily throughout the middle of the day. And the rest of my face is like extremely dry. And I could never find anything that actually works. Um, I've tried a bunch of different stuff from different face washes, toners, moisturizers. Um, and I'm realizing there's either a difference between stuff that's too heavy and makes me too oily. Um, or stuff that's too light and my skin gets dry before the middle of the day. When I combine both the Bevel Restoring Balm and then the face oil, and the face oil kind of tricks your skin into thinking it's already enough oil in your face so it doesn't produce as much. And so far it's been working. I've been doing that for about four weeks now um, and it's been working out really well. Uh, my skin is starting to clear up. If you've had trouble um, trying to find something that's gonna balance your skin out. Try an oil, try a face oil. One of those might work um, and it might actually solve your problem, so I would give that a try. To follow that up, uh, I usually um, moisturize whatever I have for facial hair um, is the uh, Bevel Beer Balm. Um, and that does a really good job of kind of keeping my facial hair really moisturized. It's not overly greasy, it's not greasy to the touch. And that's something I also use um, on my hair as well. So I usually rock like a shorter fade so it keeps my hair pretty moisturized, keeps it hydrated, it has a little bit of a shine to it which is nice. Frederick Benjamin um, also has a pomade, sleep water pomade. Um, that's also really good. Uh, I've used that off and on between that and the bevel um, depending on what kind of hold that I want um, and then how long my hair is kind of dictates um, which one of those that I use. I typically use stuff from Frederick Benjamin on my hair. I try to start using products that are a lot more natural. You know, I understand what the ingredients are in there um, and then what each of those ingredients is doing to benefit my hair and my scalp. So I do a lot of research kind of reading up on, you know, what things are out there, what things that I've been putting in my hair. And I came across Frederick Benjamin a few years ago. Since then, I've kind of, they've been a real good staple as far as my hair care. Um, I use their shampoo, um, their conditioner, and then their uh, daily hydrator, which is like a styling cream. Um, all of those things, I mean, their whole product line is really good. They're pretty much dedicated to that. They have some shaving stuff, um, but I usually prefer Bevel over that. But their hair care, I mean, it, it just really hits the mark. I mean, it keeps my hair moisturized, not too drying, um, really nourishes my hair. And then everything has this um, scent of peppermint, which is like probably my favorite smell of all time. The stuff just smells good. Um, you know, my wife always compliments me on how good my hair smells. Um, and, and this is the reason why. Um, so I usually rely solely on Frederick Benjamin for my hair um, and then if I need to add any extra moisturizer or um, you know a little bit of a pomade then I'll switch between Frederick Benjamin and then the Bevel um, Beard Balm. As far as shaving, the shave system from Bevel. Uh, and I talk a lot about Bevel, obviously I'm a big advocate of Bevel but um, I really use a lot of their products and there's some that I don't use. Trying to shave with a multi-blade razor just didn't do me justice. Razor burn, ingrown hair bumps, some scars, different things like that. And I, I just, I couldn't find what worked. I decided to try Bevel. Typically in the shave kit um, are three things and then the razor. The, um, single blade razor. Um, so there's not a multi-blade system in this. I mean, this is really, really simple. It's old school, right? The single blade razor does a really good job. Just kind of 
cutting the hair really low at, at skin level, not so much where the hair isn't going to go back into the skin and cause razor bumps. Um, and then the shave system itself um, includes priming oil, the shave cream. When I follow that up after I rinse everything off, I'll tone my face with the witch hazel um, and then I'll use the, the restoring balm. That's pretty much it. I mean, that usually does it as far as shaving is concerned. Usually I, I you know, shave maybe twice a week um, just based on how fast my hair grows. I'll use the, uh, the trimmers um, to kind of line my facial hair up and keep everything like in order and smooth. And like I said, pretty simple. I really don't change these up too much. Um, now that I've found stuff that I really like and really enjoy um, and that works well, um, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, as far as travel is concerned, so I typically, and you guys might have seen me post about this before, Bellroy um, has a really good dot kit. Not a whole lot going on in it, um, really easy to kind of put all your stuff in here. There's a few compartments that are on the inside. Um, but aside from that, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a really good bag. So some of the things that I use to travel with, um, this kind of varies a little bit more than my daily routine does just because not everything is available in travel size, which kind of is tough, but, um, but for the time being, I kind of cycle a few things out. Um, so I started to use something from Urban Skin RX, and it's the Clear Skin Cleansing Bar from Urban Skin RX. You know, I have a smaller version of the Restoring Balm and then the, uh, the Trinity Hills um, Face Oil. Right, so those are the two things that those don't change. I take those with me. They're small enough where I can fit them in a the bag, and TSA isn't gonna gonna trip about it or, or pull me aside to ask and see if they can look through the bag. I haven't had any issues with any of those things. I mean, toothpaste, um, floss, um, which I don't floss enough. Uh, collar stays. So these are things that um, a lot of men. We typically have these in our dress shirts. Um, so whenever I'm traveling for work, I usually end up wearing dress shirts. And it's always nice to have these collar stays to kind of help my collar stay down, especially when I'm wearing ties or bow ties. Um, always make sure you have a few of those in your dot kit because those are gonna come in handy. And uh, Frederick Benjamin has a daily hydrator that's pretty small. And uh, that's kind of like what I keep in my dot kit when I travel. The Bevel Spot Corrector. Um, so that's another thing from Bevel's latest skincare line that um, I've really liked. It does a really good job of kind of getting rid of uh, small blemishes or scars that I've had. So I've had a few acne or ingrown hair scars across my face every now and then. And it's really good. I just apply a little bit, um, a dot size amount um, to the spot each night. Um, I don't use it more than once a day um, and usually before bed. Um, the smell is a little strong, so um, I usually just wear it to bed versus out. Um, during the day, um, but it does a really good job of, of fading those scars over time. It's starting to fade a few of the scars that I've had on my face for years. And if my wife lets me, sometimes she doesn't know. I sometimes take her rose hip oil. Other than that, that's been it. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything that I've talked about throughout this video, any products that I use, any products that I've tried previously, um, just shoot me a message in the comments. If you like the video, if you like the trimmer unboxing video, and you want to see more content like that, let me know, let me know what you want to see. And until the next one, this has been it. Thanks.